All right, so this is cyclohexene. And then this is molecular bromine, BR, BR, yeah, three lone pairs on the two BRs. And this is step one. Step one, what happens is that their bond attacks the BR and you, you create a covalent bond between that, that right top carbon and that BR. And then one of the three lone pairs on that left bromine attacks the bottom right carbon on cyclohexene. And that there bond between the two BRs goes to the right BR as a fourth lone pair. And then this is what you get. You now have a uh, triangular structure BR. And those two bonds are on the same face of the ring. You still have two lone pairs on the BR. And the two H's are going away from the plane of the of the screen. Okay. And if you do the formal charges, you now have a positive charge on that bromine which is neutralized by the negatively charged bromide. That is what happens to the right bromine. Okay, so that's step one. This is step two. So the reactant in step two is the product in step one. BR, two lone pairs, positive charge. You do have those two H's going away. And you have the bromide. Okay, so the bromide can attack from the front. It can attack from the rear, but that there the other bromine is going towards you. And so the, the front face of the ring is quite crowded. So that there, that bromide, that bromine with a negative charge is going to have to attack from behind. So one of the four lone pairs attacks from behind. And what happens is that there that their covalent bond goes to the bromine as a third lone pair. And this is now your final product. That bromine that is attached to the ring is this one. It's going toward you. And the other bromine is going away from you because it attacked from the rear face of the ring. So that means the H on that bottom carbon is toward you and the H on that top carbon is going away from you.